Good morning, everybody. At this very moment, 77% of the German population are afraid of experiencing an attack at very first hand. Two weeks ago, it has only been 69%. Just as shocking as the recent attacks themselves are the extremely xenophobic reactions to it. Before any information has been confirmed and before the perpetrator has even been identified, hate preachers started to verbally assault Muslims and more generally refugees, holding them responsible for the import of brutality and terror. Being incapable of differentiating between terror and religion is not only extremely imprecise, but also the highest form of discrimination. Xenophobic right-wing politicians are instrumentalizing the internet as platform to spread their intolerant ideology. A loophole in the law is exploited to frighten and endanger peace within society. Xenophobia is an obstacle to our common goal of resilience and inclusiveness. It needs to be eliminated by three pillars which our society should be based on. Tolerance, empathy and historical awareness. These values are a fundament we can build upon. But additionally, to the moral work we need to devote ourselves to, there is much more to be achieved. Statistics illustrate that reaching the minimum standards of what is needed to be employable may take several years. But they also show that this investment, through successful integration, is going to be lucrative in the long run. Too often it is neglected that refugees' skills and capacities can be great resources to the German job market and that misery and financial distress are the very source of our problems. In order to enshrine the feeling of safety and economic well-being among us, dissatisfaction needs to be combated both on state and municipal level. Already in the year of 1784, the German philosopher Kant most accurately stated what it takes to initiate enlightenment and change within society. Zapara Aude, have the courage to use your own understanding. Ich danke Ihnen.